it's a pole. It's, there's a bubble inside. Part two of the bubble tea alternative. Last episode, we tried a few bubble tea drinks uh, here and there from two, two brands, right? Today, we actually found more bubble tea related products and we are going to try them out. Whether you should buy it or should you just avoid it. I'm going to start with the Polar brand. I found two more flavors from there. One is the brown sugar bubble milk and the other one is the premium coffee bubble milk. Mm. And the sad thing is, uh, not all, the both of us, we did find the same type of products. Okay. So, I'm going to be the one trying, she's going to be the one watching me try it. Yes. Oh, oh yes, it does taste much better. Much better than the other, the other flavor from this bread. It tastes a lot better than the peach and the oolong. <laughs> but as a bubble tea substitute, I think the one one brown mm. sugar will be better. This is perfectly fine as a drink. Something I can enjoy as a replacement. Nah, overall, I'll give this a brutal approve. And you're still drinking it. Yeah. It's really nice. Okay, so the next one we have is the premium coffee bubble milk. Yeah, this is a lot sweeter, a lot milky than say a mocha coffee. You don't get strong coffee aroma, you don't get co strong coffee flavor. You know that this is a coffee drink, but the coffee seems like an afterthought. So it's like milk first. Yeah, you get a lot of milk, the cognac well, and then you realize, oh, this is actually coffee. <laughs> In fact, I think it's too sweet. So yeah, I'll give this a brutal disappointment. Yes, so we have this Cha Time Instant Roasted Milk Tea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't have tapioca or any bubbles in it. It's mm -hmm. just a milk tea. It says that it's just like freshly made. So Cha Time is a bubble tea store wow. brand in Singapore. So it comes in this small little packet. Okay. Instructions at the back. Oh, Seep it in hot water for three to five minutes though. So. Uh, it just looks white. <laughs> oh my god. Looks are deceiving. <laughs> when you drink it, the first thing that you can taste is sweet. And then once it goes down your throat, it mm -hmm. is like milk tea. <laughs> it's super light and easy to drink. This is actually really nice. <laughs> but if you know, if you can make your own tapioca and you actually put it in, I think it will be actually really very nice. I think this is a very good alternative, I would say. Okay. And okay. it doesn't <clears throat> feel like you're drinking diabetes. <laughs> Okay, so I'll actually brutally approve this. So the next thing I found in the supermarket that is bubble milk tea flavored is the it's from Tank Shop Bubble Milk Tea Golden. Cool, comes in a very very nice packaging. You can see the boba inside. I'm gonna try it now. This looks promising. Hmm. <laughs> is it? It looks like it's very chewy. Yeah, it's very chewy. As far as nougat go, <laughs> the taste and texture is nothing like the nougat you found in Australia. The brown sugar part of it, yeah, you can taste a bit, but it's not very strong. Okay. Which is good. You don't need to be too strong, too overpowering that you get gelat. There's a very slight hint of the milk tea. It's not strong. But you can, you know it's there. You can feel its presence. But it's not a good presence. Mm. It's like that creepy stalker at the corner. Okay, I'm gonna give this a brutal disapproval. Let's see. It's like a hard candy. It is a very milky matcha flavor. So if you ever try Japanese matcha hard candies, it tastes like this. Oh my god, it's a pearl. It's, there's a bubble inside. Oh my god, it's chewy. But it's very small. So if you like what, what? the matcha latte from Starbucks, this is the one you, are, you will go for. If you like 
green tea milk tea from bubble tea store you may not like this because it doesn't taste like the bubble tea from the green tea leaves if you like matcha latte from starbucks you may like this a lot more but the only thing is it's really sweet so if you are someone who likes really sweet things this is the candy you're gonna go for so personally i would brutally disapprove this because it's really very sweet i think this concludes our bubble tea alternatives part two if you want to see more, you can check out our video in part 1. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!